Hey, good morning guys and gals, Froggy here. Uh, this is my driveway and when we had this house built and this driveway poured, we put this uh, fancy slate um, upgrade into it. It looks nice, but uh, was not a good choice because the slate is actually a soft stone and you can see the erosion um, just from the elements, sun, water, whatever. Um, one of these is broken out. Uh, so what I'm going to do is replace it with a colored concrete um, replacement because uh, I just don't want to put slate back in there again. I think you can see probably the reason this one broke out is because of a poor job that the contractor did um, on the uh, the under the under surface that the slate sits on um, it wasn't too bad here in the middle but this edge was bad so um, anyway that's what you get you know sometimes now this is like a semi soft semi hard repair that I did a while ago and it lasted pretty good I've got some over here I'll probably leave that in and I'll take this out. So anyway, um, we're going to use some quick crete. We're going to color it um, with some concrete coloring, and uh, I'll show you how it goes. I do have some concern that uh, it's not going to be very thick concrete in the middle here, barely a half an inch. It'll be plenty deep there, plenty thickness there. So I'm hoping that. You know the new concrete on top of the old concrete I just hope that's gonna work I'm gonna have to trowel this in um, so I don't get anything that runs off onto the driveway here first thing I gotta make it wet I think first thing I'll do actually is um, mix some ready crete in that bucket I think that's about enough. That's a little more than a quarter of this bucket. And the bucket is a two gallon bucket. So figure uh, half a gallon maybe, a little more. And this is the tint. It's a liquid tint. I thought it was a powder, but it's a liquid. And that's buff color. Um, so I think I'm going to move this all down onto the dirt so that if anything spills, it's not going to get on here. Okay. Excuse the compressor. So the advice you get is to wet it down um, if you're doing like a patch. And I'm blowing out the excess water. You don't want to have puddles of water in there. So I'm using the air to puddle it, uh, to blow it out. Now I'm going to go mix the, uh, actually it's quick creep. I don't know what I called it before, quick creep. I think I got a little too much water in there, so I'm adding some more dry till I get something that I can spread around with a trowel. I also am going to put a little more of that color in it. Okay, excuse the noise of the delivery truck uh, nearby. Uh, I think I've got that about where I want it for consistency. And I added color. The color's just a kind of a crapshoot on where the color comes out to something that I might like. I think it'll be better than just plain old um, light colored concrete. And uh, let's go lay some in the block and see, see how it works. Uh, decades ago, I worked for a bricklaying company decades ago. So I'm sure I've forgotten everything I learned about that. And also, I think the materials have probably changed, but here we go. Well, that's how it's looking. I'm gonna put some wax paper on it and then put that flat piece of aluminum on it just to see if I can get a flatter surface. Although certainly the other uh, slate things are not flat necessarily. So put a little weight on top of that and uh, 
Now I'll just see if I can find a couple of little spots to use up the rest of that where some of the uh, concrete is, or where the concrete or the slate or anything is broken up. There's one here, but I think I might actually, this is loose, I might actually take that out, clean up underneath, and then re-glue that back in there because it's a perfect shape for that part of the driveway. Well, there it is. I reset all the settings and uh, <laughs> I must have done it myself with uh, some override setting. Anyway, there's that little triangle spot right there. I think I'll wet it down and put some in there and see how it comes out. Okay, well, that's how that ended up. Just a little patch there. I think that'll be okay. And it should certainly be harder than the slate. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Give me a thumbs up or a like if this helps you out. Subscribe to my channel if you want more from Froggy. Ring the bell if you want notification. Be safe. Have good. Froggy out. Bye-bye. So this is a little postscript here. I got some of this crack sealer. Uh, it dries to a gray color, and I used it uh, to... Um, make things look a little better outside let me show you so you just shake it up cut the tip off and squeeze it out and that's what I did on that tile repair uh, I'll show you a couple other locations I used some down here I mean it it doesn't match very well uh, of course right now that the concrete is dark and wet because it's a, a wet morning and it'll get drier, so it'll look a little, it'll blend in a little better when it's drier. So you can see over here how it blends in a little bit better. I did not find it in colors anywhere. So maybe if you could find it in colors, um, that would be a good thing. I just filled in uh, places where the mortar actually had just broken up and fallen out. There's some places it blends in pretty good. Okay, froggy out.